Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have some Avon stuff for you. Just a quick little video on the Avon Glow Bronzing Pearls. Um, bronzing Pearls. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Let me, let me look just to make sure. Yes, Avon Glow Bronzing Pearls. They come in two shades. Um, B201 Sunkissed, which is the lighter, the lighter one. And the darker one is called um, B202 Bronzed. Um, and then I also have the bronzing brush for you from Avon. This is considered, or technically called the, just the Avon Professional Bronzer Brush. That's what the head looks like. Um, I purchased these recently. They had like, I've, I know I've mentioned them to you guys before, the deals of the day and things like that for Avon wraps. And they had both sets of the bronzing pearls plus the bronzing brush for $15. So I went ahead and jumped on that because I didn't have them. And I've been using um, my MARC bronzer a lot. I use it quite frequently. You'll see it in my makeup basket videos, but I actually didn't have any kind of Avon bronzing um, uh, makeup. So I wanted to go ahead and give that a try and see get something going on here <laughs> and see what I felt about it. So I did use them today. I actually just filmed kind of a plain with makeup look where I used the one in the Sunkist, um, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch them both for you. And I do have both shades on today, just so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with the Sunkist first. Um, it is the lighter of the two, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and try to show you the shades without dumping them all over everything. But you can see that they have quite a different variety of shades in there. What I really like are the ones that are like peachy golden pink. I think that is so pretty. I was really, really, really impressed with these. Um, there's like peachy pink, there's some like really light champagne, and then there's more of like a light golden tan shade. So I can see three distinctly different colors in here. And like I said, I do have this one on today as highlight. So I've got it here, here, down the bridge of my nose, and in the Cupid's bow. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. And uh, I will swatch it just by kind of running my finger. I tried the other day because I wanted to see if they would make a good swatch, you know, um, for you guys before I tried to do the video. And it does. You could get a, a pretty decent swatch just by going over... I'm just trying to be careful so that I don't knock them all out of the little container. Can you hear them rattling around? I had I hesitated for a while on buying these, even though I saw them in the book. Now this isn't going to show up. I did the other day, really good, um, because I bought these kind of pearls in the past and from other brands, and I wasn't like super super impressed with them. Uh, just because I think sometimes it's hard to pick up product. I can see it on my finger really shimmery. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. Yeah, you can see it. Well, I just saw it a second ago. There it is right here. So that's just a really nice light, like highlighting. I definitely wouldn't, even for a fair person like myself, it's not a bronzer, but it's just a really nice, like, light golden apricot -y, peachy highlight shade very pretty and then i'll do the uh darker one for you guys now i wore the darker one today as bronzer and i have to say this i was putting it on and i was looking at my brush i had my brush in there and i was swirling it around and i'm like this isn't picking up much product and i was kind of discouraged so i put the brush back in there again and i pulled out the brush and i looked at it and i'm like this isn't still picking up much product. So I put the brush in there again, and then I was like, well, we'll just give it a try. So then I started, you know, going around. It picks up product. <laughs> Even though it might not look like it is, I think what it is is when you dip your brush into here, it goes down in, and the product gets worked down into the bristles quite deeply. And so you might not see a lot. Like, okay, this is from this one on the surface too just so you can see it does pick up there you know um but it works just the act of swirling it around and kind of pushing works the product 
into the bristles themselves. So there is product in there and it's going to come out on your skin even though you don't think it is. So after I put it on, I actually had to take a big fluffy powder brush and I buffed it out. So I had it like at the tops of my cheeks and on my forehead and temple area. And I definitely had to buff it out because for my fair skin it was a little intense. It wasn't bad though. It wasn't orangey or anything. It was just wasn't bad. So when you get these, they actually have this um, thing inside and it's not a puff, which is kind of disappointing. I'm like, I mean, most people don't use the puff anyways, but still I was like, come on, Avon, you could have at least give us a puff. This is just a little styrofoam thing to keep the, the pearls in place so that they don't uh, roll all around, you know? So this is what the, um, the darker ones look like here. So you can see there's definitely a difference. I'll hold them up side by side if I can do it without spilling. So you can see this is the bronzed one. So definitely some darker colors going on there. But like I said, I used it today as bronzer for my face and I'm a fair skinned person. And I think it turned out quite nice once I buffed it out, you know, definitely. And that was my own fault for sticking the brush in there like 80,000 times. So in this one, I can definitely see um, a dark tan that's on the cool side and then a medium tan that's on the warmer side and then this golden yellowy color and that's on the warm side. So I do think that these are kind of like universally flattering because they're a mix of cool and warm together. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get some kind of swatch for you guys on this. Like a finger isn't the ideal way to pick up product with these, so. I think I got some on there. So that's the warmer one. And you can see it's not that dark. I mean, it's definitely not like a super, super, super intense. I keep jiggling the camera, sorry. <laughs> super intense uh, bronze. But when I was using the brush, there we go, I definitely got a little bit much on, and like I said, I had to buff it out, but I think it turned out good. I mean, I feel, I feel pretty good. But what's nice is it's not, neither one of them are too shiny or shimmery. If you were using the darker one specifically for bronzing, it would be absolutely fine. And like I said, that lighter one is a perfect for a highlight. It's just got a really pretty peachy gold sheen to it, so... Very, very nice. I was quite impressed with them. So both of those are $9 a piece, but a lot of times they run on sale, like $6.99, $7.99. And then they also have been running on sale. If you buy one, you get the second one for like $2.99 or something like that. Now this is the Avon Pro bronzing brush. And um, I bought this because it came in the set. This is $8.99 normally priced. Um, a lot of times in the campaigns, they run the brushes half off so that's really good this is a nice brush and i'll tell you what i like about it because i have a couple other bronzing brushes from other brands um in particular i have one from coastal sense and um uh what's it called bare minerals what i like about this brush is it's dense and it's packed at the head like or i'm sorry at the base of it quite tight but at the tip it's fluffy so like the one I have from Bare Minerals, which I probably should have brought out so I could have compared them for you guys, it's dense all the way up to the top. And I think it, I don't like to use it because it makes too much of a solid, you know, wash of color. Whereas this, I think would be, does definitely more of a distribution of color. So it holds the color in, the, there's a lot of bristles in here. You know, you can see there's a lot of bristles in there. They're packed in really good, but the tips of them are soft and kind of fluffed out. So you get color and they're held together good, but at the same time, it really can, you know, like buff out your, your product. So I don't know. I was really pleased with this brush. Um, I don't have, since Avon has redone their brushes, I only think I have one of them, the cream eyeshadow brush. 
or is it concealer blush? I can't remember. But I, I'm, this is really nice. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with it. So I'm definitely going to be looking into more of these and like more brushes. And like I said, this is $8.99, um, normal priced. So, so that's it. I just thought I'd show you guys these quick little video, well, 10 minutes anyways, of the Avon Bronzing Pearls, Avon Glow Bronzing Pearls, um, and the Avon professional bronzer brush so if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for watching and stay tuned because i'll be doing a lipstick swatch video coming up pretty soon all right i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye